Right, hello, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video. Today we're going to be discussing and previewing the upcoming Second City Derby on Sunday. We all remember what happened last time we played oh. Blues. We're hoping for something similar to that, as you do. It was such a class day last oh, time, 2-0. Yeah. They had a red card. It's just a, a really One good of day. those days you just don't forget. Yeah. Uh, this time round, I don't think it's going to be as easy. But no. I'm still looking forward to it. There's going to be loads of us going down. Right, going into the game, it's just like any other derby. I'm absolutely buzzing for it, but at the same time, I am terrified. And even more so this time, which we'll explain. We'll get into it, explaining why. But... Just every time a derby's around the corner, there's such a hype amongst both fan bases, really. And then, at the same time, both teams are just like, oh, no, do not lose this game of football. Yeah, I think the moral of Sunday is just going to be not to lose. Uh, that that yeah. might sound negative, but that's what it is for us yeah. going into a derby. But yeah, you just can't lose. On the day, I'm not too bad. Like, on the day, it's In the just morning, the build up to yeah. it. It's just... Once you get going and everyone's going. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So, going into this game, now, we haven't lost against Blues at Villa for about... 14 years, I think it is. Um, however, I'm still not 100% confident. We haven't been the best this season. Blues have looked better than they have done in previous seasons. And in all fairness, last season when they came to us, they had some cracking chances to score. 2-0 yeah, probably shouldn't have been what the score was. They yeah. had cracking chances. But I, I, if I'm going to put a percentage on it, is it, no, it can't be 50-50. I'm probably about 60-65% confident on us. They've had a very good October. Yeah. I think they've won like four, four in a row, unbeaten in like 11 or something like that. But the, they haven't won in two, they drew yeah, a they bit slipped up. They were, yeah. they were, they, apparently they did look really poor and they managed to, they sneaked a point at home to Hull. Yeah, 3-3. Three, three, which three, probably hasn't helped them out. Whereas our last game, 3-0 against Derby, is just ridiculous. If you haven't watched that video, please check that out. That was such a good day. Um, yeah, we, were, we just looked so good against Derby. Yeah. It was just... Amazing, really. I've, I've I've never seen us perform like that this season. No, best performance so far. I haven't seen us play like that really for, for years, mate. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, years. We but just controlled the game from so the well. minute go. We had like a couple of minutes at the end of the first half and the start of the second half. Apart from that, we were absolutely fine. If we play like that against Blues, we will win. So oh yeah, we probably, will win. Yeah, we just need to keep that up. Yeah, but the issue is, as you've probably seen, McGinn, we have Chester, a couple of Bjarnason. injuries. What's going on there then? Well. So, for those who aren't aware, McGinn didn't play a minute for Scotland. He just pulled out. They just Scotland just tweeted going, McGinn out. <laughs> so, I'm guessing he's back at Villa. Uh, some of the newspapers are reporting he has a calf strain. Chester played about 50 minutes, was Something it? Like Something like that the other night for Wales against Denmark. Came off, limped off injured. No idea on that one either. Have heard he is just going to miss Tuesday. Uh, yeah, the Tuesday Try game me. against... Uh, whoever they've got, and he'll be sent back to Villa. Hopefully it's just precaution. Yeah, I'm just hoping like, it's precautionary. Just get them back. If, I don't know who, I'm trying to think. If we had to miss out on one player, who would it be? Because Chester is so crucial for us defensively, Yeah. but McGinn is so crucial He's for us going forward. Season. Player of the season so far, McGinn. If, so, if we don't have him, that is a huge miss. There's also reports of Bjarnason as yeah. well, injured, so... yeah. Mm. Who would, who would you pick in that midfield yeah, with McGinn and Bjarne's Yeah, argument? so you can't play your, your wheeling or someone at home. <sighs> Obviously, Yedinak would be play, helpful, play defense. but then he might have to play centre-half if it's, there's no Chester. Yeah. We just have to hope. That yeah. we'll if we're looking further afield, into, if we are very short string, would it be worth bringing in maybe Henry Lansbury, for example? I know he hasn't <laughs> had many minutes. No. He has had a behind... Doors game. He just looks so. Has he played fit. this season? He didn't. I think he played some. Oh, I think I've seen him at Burton. Oh, he, oh, he's just looked a bit lost. He's, I don't know what's happened to him. He's just gone off the radar. Played for the under 23s the other day. He yeah. just looks so unfit. And... I do feel for him because he did yeah. look like a real prospect when he came. And some of the goals he's just got at Forest were just unbelievable. He scored a scream against Leeds. And he scored a scream in Villa Park, actually. Did he? Yeah, we drew it when we drew 2 2. Oh, yeah. yeah. He just, he's just gone he off just, the radar. Yeah. And you can't throw him in against no, Blues. No, no. That's not going to happen. In terms of the Blues team, I think Jukovic has scored like six in five at some point yeah, this he, season. He's probably there in form. A big lump up front. Nyland is going See, to be on Chester, four. Chester is what we need ultimately there, just to completely shut him out the game. But then again, if you do put Yedinak in there, he's just going to win every well, yeah. game. Mm. But I mean, that is the only positive uh, to putting Yedinak in. In all fairness, listening to Blues fans, their only other good player this season has been Villa's one of our own, Gary Gardner. <laughs> He's a However, 
He cannot play due to the loan issues. Yep. So that is going to be a big miss for them. But they've also got Che Adams. He's got a hat. Yeah, well, he's got. Off. Off. Well, yeah. Him and Yukovic do look like a decent strike force. But if we can shut them down, yeah, they they won't score. Yeah. Villa are going to have to exploit the weaknesses in the Blues team. One of them being their goalkeeper, Lee Camp. Yeah. He is prone to the odd clanger every now and then. If I'm sure anyone watching this would have seen. Uh, defensively as well, they do look a bit frail. Like conceding three at home against Hull, who aren't very good at all, really. There's some issue there down the wings as well. Something, I think we can yeah. Do that. Like if you, if you play Balassi, that's another Balassi, thing to come on to. Yeah. Will Balassi start? Will he start? There's been question. Why hasn't he started? Why hasn't he started? He why was he phenomenal at Derby. He there came was, on, changed the game. There was an interview I think he had the other week, and he said when he joined, he was in no way to even train, let alone play a game of football. He's come he, off the bench in so many games yeah. this season. So and it's time. Part of me thinks, yeah, bring him on, light up the place with half an hour to go, mm. bag your goals, see you later. But then, do we want to try and kill him off early? Do we start him? Is he going to get tired quickly? Not my decision to make. Yeah. If I could, though, I'd probably start him. Who'd you take out, though, Kodja? He wasn't great oh, against Derby. Yeah, he was one. poor against Derby. But then again, a Doma. I don't like... I just don't see what a Doma brings. He looked no. a little bit better against Derby. He just... I don't know what he offers. He just picks up the ball and just trundles down the wing and just floats one in. Yeah, Balassi like, is something different. Balassi is different class. Yeah, Kodja as well. Mm. It's, it's not our decision. It is a difficult one, but... I'm sure whatever happens will be the right decision. You may have seen from the comments section of the Derby video, we did team up with Unilad and the official Aston Villa YouTube channel to produce a little production of the Derby uh, game when we went there. So do go and check that out. I'll leave a link either up there or in the You will have seen from the lad with the big afro on the main video, he yeah. had a big part to play in that. So yeah, yeah it'll all be revealed. Go and check it. that out. So in terms of the day, we're all going. If you nice see us, go, get on the vid. Get just his, ask yeah. us. You, I'll, I'll look to get as many people as I can on the vid because it's going to be a good day. It's, it's going to be a big, long rocking. video. The atmosphere is going to be classy and just sense it as it always is. When sold, out, sold out, 42,000, yeah. just like every other derby. And to be fair, a few games this season as well. We've really turned out well this season. So when, when it's sold out, we usually do well. Yeah. Simple as that. We normally do well. So it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. As always, I'm nervous, but we'll be all right. As you've seen on the Villa on Tour YouTube channel, I don't normally do previews, but as it's a special game against the Blues, I thought I'd do it. We do our thoughts. Stand you might have seen the one from last season as well. It's just oh. exactly the same. Yeah, yeah. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Follow the socials. Follow the socials. If you see us on Sunday, come and say hello. Up the villa. That's it. See you Sunday. See you later.